Hey everybody, how's it going? Corey here from ThemeCo with a quick video talking about presets as elements and using them to create a design system in your next build. So as you begin working on a website and you start nearing the end of the process, you'll start to find that certain patterns emerge in your build. For example, you might have this section of repeated rows or perhaps a call out that you use throughout your page. And this is important because it's this consistency and this repetition in certain ways that helps make our content more consumable and approachable from a user standpoint. And even something as simple as this button here has a lot of thought that goes into it. Not only the sizing of it and the color, but we've got this particular font here and a different font here. We've got a different font size, line height, letter spacing. There's a lot of little details that add up to make the whole button itself. Now, we certainly don't want to have to reinvent that wheel every time and redeclare those values over and over again. And we've always had presets in the builder that are very easy to apply. For example, I could click this button, go here, and find my architecture, slide left preset, and apply it. And now I've got a button that matches my other one right here. And that's great. However, there is one really handy improvement in the latest release of Pro 3, X7, and Cornerstone 4, where we can now treat our presets more like elements themselves, and we can find them right here in the Elements pane. So this will look a little bit different from what you're maybe used to before. And you'll notice that we've got our list of standard elements here, but if I collapse this list, you'll notice that we've got this preset section here, which I can then expand, and you'll see that I've got a huge list here of elements that I've already designed and I use in my builds already. I can now treat any of these presets exactly like I would an element. For example, I've already got this section here where I know I need to add the same button that I've already been using in this particular section. I can go over here and find it and simply drag it in and I'm good to go. This is fantastic because there are tons of sections throughout any particular site where you'll have different patterns that you use over and over again. For example, I might have a view more button that I use at the end of each of my section to call certain things out. Or I might simply have little variations on the same theme. For example, I've got this slide left button that I used before, but in this particular section, I've got a slide up variant that I use for these columns. So I can now drag that in and get to it very quickly. Looks like I've got one more section here where I need my view more button. Now the other really cool thing about our presets is that we can not only just save individual elements, but we can save things like sections and rows and columns. And what will happen when we save one of those layout elements as a preset is it not only saves the style of that particular element, but it will also save all of its children and all of their styling as well. So you can almost think of this as sort of a faux template really quick access to something without having to load up a template from the layout screen. So I've got this row here and I've actually already saved a row just like one of these as a preset. I'm gonna click on this. And you'll see that we now have a direct copy of something else from this section that we can use over and over again. So don't underestimate the power of defining your elements that you use over and over again as presets. You can quickly add them to your page and use them to create some consistency and approachability throughout your designs. 